is it wrong for me to love this episode? Bro, let me explain, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. I was still right because some of the freaking choices they choose to make when it came to Chadwick's version of Star-Lord is a little too on the nose. Like, he brought up freaking... He bring up the freaking... Oh, where I come from, you cannot be in, you know, stuff with the, with the bondage and all that stupid stuff. And then the man literally named the ship the star flew Mandela. Yeah, I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let y'all let that sink in. Seriously, man, like, y'all couldn't help yourselves to defile this man's legacy, bro. Like, don't get me wrong, this episode was pure heat, and not just because, oh, it's a beautiful animated spectacle, like Captain Carter was, it was just purely animated spectacle, that's the only thing that made it good. But, dude, it was actually decent, like, and, and don't get me wrong, he was a Gary Stu, through and through. They made this man a Gary Stu and pretty much the, the, the Jesus of the universe. Literally the Jesus of the universe, or Robin Hood. Dude, the man is not like Star-Lord. He isn't half celestial or whatever. He isn't like freaking Thanos. He isn't an eternal with a deviant gene. No, this was complete and utter BS, bro. Like, completely. So there's, some, there's some points in the episode where I was like, bro, this man should be dead or at least badly wounded or at least not as skilled as he should be like it's not like he was trained you know to be the black panther for most of his life like the chala was i mean granted he was on the he was on black but come on he was a child literally it, he ain't on some prince vegeta saying type beat okay this was just complete and utter bs Bro, he literally changed the hearts and minds of I, at, at some point of the episode i was thinking to myself it, I'm, I'm betting he's, he's gonna turn to collector good too i wouldn't be surprised the man literally changed the minds of thanos and people who oh my god this is so stupid like seriously man if you wanted to degrade the, the star lord bro you should have just said so bro because like when peter quill was star lord bro he couldn't catch a break and he earned his victories he was just like oh 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 he's good he's good he's good like, bro, th there's literally no argument you can make for this. Like, dude, no, no. I don't want to hear, oh, but the T'Challa, he, he's more of a good person than Star-Lord. I don't care, bro. Dude, I, that's the stupidest argument you can make for him being a Gary Stu. Every, literally almost everyone likes him. Even the freaking collector, given the fact he was given a few insults, but literally everyone likes this dude. Literally everybody. Like, seriously, man, y'all couldn't help yourselves to destroy to an destroy a already established character. You couldn't help yourselves. But I will say, I, I did love this episode, though. And no, before any of you people in the comments of any cockassity, you say, oh, you only like it because you're a black man. No, I don't just like it because, well, I'm a nigga. <laughs> I like it because, again, as Gary Stewish as he was, some of the choices they made with this episode in particular was just interesting. It had me answering so it had me wanting to know so much. And also, MCU, Kevin Feige, or whoever's in control of this, just say that Venom's part of the MCU and just let it be done. Because, bro, you literally called out the Necro Sword. I hate you guys, bro. Stop teasing me like this. I hate you for this. Bro, the collector literally murked everyone almost everyone of significance he i think he literally had a millionaire too like dude could the collector is not this op and if he was again the child should not have won this fight and again they downplayed thanos so hard like bro again thanos is an eternal with a deviant gene he should have destroyed 99.9% .9 of everyone in that god dang celestial's head I do not care. I said what I said. Give Thanos his freaking respect now. And another thing. I ain't even done yet, bro. I am not done. Because, like, you know, I, I try so hard to enjoy this episode. Because I really did enjoy a lot of aspects of the episode. I would not deny that. But, dude. Why on Krypton's moon did you dare defile the name of peter quill <laughs> like okay 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 i'm being too harsh but seriously though this man literally saves drax whole race are you freaking me right now this is a 
freaking bullshit. Literally, everything's just better in the galaxy thanks to freaking Chadwick's version of freaking Star Lord. I am done with Marvel at this point. I'm still gonna watch it. What if? Just because you know some of the shit y'all do is actually kind of interesting. But the other times, no, it's not interesting. It's not clever. It's not cool. It's not freaking progressive. The dude named his ship Mandela. I'm gonna let y'all have fun with that. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and the shout outs coming at the end. Yeah. Riley Gore. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, we're here. <laughs>